Today's Pokemon theory is going to involve hatching eggs and how hatched Pokemon get into their Pokeballs. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another contest entry for my Pokemon Theory Contest where you can win $100 if your Pokemon Theory is liked the most in the submitted Pokemon Theories for this month. So, if you'd like to enter this contest, all you have to do is check the link in the description below with all the details you would need to enter it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and give it over to EJ, who has a theory on how hatched Pokemon actually get into Pokeballs. And uh, this one makes a lot of sense. So I hope you guys enjoy and take it away, EJ. Where do hatched Pokemon's Pokeballs come from? I'm EJ and I have a theory. They could come from the trainer's inventory, but we see eggs hatch in the game all the time without balls in the pack, especially in Pokemon Go, so that can't be it. In the anime, we see often that they don't go in balls at all, like Togepi with Misty, um, but we don't really see that in the games, and I'm not about to get into a canon, non-canon argument. So we'll just say maybe the first time you go heal at a Poke Center, they go into a Pokeball. That could be it, but I have another idea. Organic chemistry is the study of things that are or have been alive. Flora is plants and fauna is animals. Uh, both contain carbon and we're just going to assume that Pokemon and plants in the Pokemon world have similar traits. Apricorns come from plants and they're used to make Pokeballs and the egg hatching sequence resembles the evolution sequence. So I think the egg becomes a Pokeball or something similar, similar to how evolution is. But EJ, wouldn't wild hatch Pokemon just be stuck in a Pokeball forever then? No, I think the trainer has to recall the Pokemon once it's hatched, just like they do after a battle. And since there wouldn't be a trainer to recall a wild Pokemon, it just leaves the Pokeball behind. Similar to how Pokemon can be released into the wild after you've caught them. And this might also explain why current Pokeballs are designed the way they are, since early trainers were likely to stumble across these egg shell ball things and eventually put together um, a device that could be used to capture a Pokemon. What do you think? This does beg the question, however, how do wild Pokemon hatch if no one's there to walk them? But that's a question for another day. I've been your host, EJ. Thanks for tuning in. If you're still watching, uh, thanks. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Let me know down in the comments what you think.